This is the card I'll be showing you how to make using the prized peony stamp set and the peony dies. To get started, I will show you how to put together this peony here. Very, very pretty. Very, very easy. So to get started, um, I took a piece of the 6x6 designer series paper in, in color Magenta Madness here. And I am using the four dies that you will need um, to make the peony. They look a little funny, but they make a whole lot of sense once you start putting them together. So you'll grab your big shot um, platform here. You'll need the one, two, and number three, your plexiglass plate. And then we will put the piece with our dies on here. And then you'll need the third, another piece, plexiglass piece with the top and you will run this through the big shot. And once you are done with that, you will end up with the four pieces um, here for the that make the peony here. So the next thing you'll want to do is take your bone folder and you'll notice that there, there is slits in all of the peony dies here and that's where we're gonna stick each layer into but flip it over on the back side and roll, I guess if it was facing this way, you'd be um, wanting your um, paper to roll forwards, but I just flip it upside down and you're going to just use your bone folder and just create a little bit of movement um, with this bone folder here. And then once you've done that to all of them, then take Melon Mambo, which is a slight bit darker than the Magenta Madness, and take a sponge dauber. And I just sponged the edges here. And on the largest peony die, you'll want to sponge all the way around and then open the slit up stick your fingers in there like that, and then you're gonna sponge the inside part there. So I previously sponged and did the bone folder on all of the rest of these pieces just to conserve on time. Now, you can use any kind of adhesive to put this together, Tombow, glue dots, whatever you uh, prefer. I grab some mini glue dots, I mean mini dimensionals, that way it helps give some more definition and depth there. So you're going to start by taking the two largest pieces here, place those inside, and if you flip them over, you should be able to tell that they line up exactly here. You can see they line up exactly there and every single piece once you stick it through this little opening here let me do this again once you stick this piece in here like so you can flip it over and it lines up exactly in the back now once you've done that take I took a dimensional here and just put it you know one or two And then just take this piece and you will line it up exactly there like so. So that's what that looks like. Now take your next largest piece and you're going to slip it in the hole here. And once you kind of understand the concept, you just keep doing that, sticking them in the next smallest hole. So I'll flip this back over and here again, it lines up exactly at the bottom. And I'll just take another dimensional here, slide that down. And then, oops. And then you can pick your piece up and line it up here at the bottom. And then do the same thing with the very smallest piece. You're going to slip it in here, slide it down in there, flip it over. And there again, it will line up 
right there at the bottom. And you'll just take another dimensional, pop it in there. Oops. Well, it'll behave here. There. So all of those exactly line up there at the bottom. So that's how easy it is to put together your peony. Now I went back and added a few more dimensionals here just to keep everything in place. So you are more than welcome to do that also. Let's do that real quick here. And then another thing I like to do is go back and just help flare up these inside layers with your fingers make them look a little bit more weathered there but that's what it should look like super super pretty so i'm going to set our flower aside here and the next thing we are going to do is doing the center little um uh inside of the flower so i took some of the um i think this is bumblebee uh let's see here the bumblebee um, colored cardstock and we are going to take the center little piece here and run that through the big shop twice so you will end up with two pieces here so grab your base piece your number one then your number two your plexiglass which would be number three your little stem and cardstock and then the second number three plexiglass plate you're gonna run that through the big shot and when you finish you should end up with two of these here. Now, I took Mango Melody ink, which is a little bit darker, because I want there to be some contrast. And I took a sponge dauber here, and I just kind of sponged this, like so. You can see there's some contrast there. Take the second one, do the exact same thing, like so. And then, take your Wink Estella and just paint right over the top of that to add some shimmer. Doesn't have to be exact there. All right, now we can take a little bit of Tombow glue and take the first one of these. And I'm gonna put a little glue here. Take the second one. And then I just kind of overlap them like so and then after you do that I put a little bit of glue here on the back and then you will open the very smallest little opening here in the very center and I'm just gonna slide these right down in there and you can put a little pressure on them but that's how it should look when you finish it's got a nice little shimmer to it so that is your flower. Next, I will show you how to do the leaves. So I have just jade with the two largest leaves, solid leaves, and the kind of medium sized leaf. And then I have the two largest outlined um, leaves, the kind of shadow of, of the leaf in um, shaded spruce. So we'll need to run that through the big shot. So grab your platform. You'll need one, two, and then your third piece would be the plexiglass plate. And we will pop those leaves right on there. Oops, like so. And then your third plexiglass plate will go on top. And then when you finish, you'll end up with your leaves that look like so. Now, I made a little modification here. And I will show you how I attached this leaf here. So basically what I did is the large leaf and the medium leaf, I just added a little glue there and stuck that leaf down like that. And then take your shadow, your darker shaded spruce piece, and lay that. Make sure it lines up on this long edge here and then you can kind of pull this outer edge open just a little bit to line the smaller leaf here so this is what it should look like and then I'll do the same I will glue this yeah, so and line that on the outside of this leaf 
like so. All right, we'll set our leaves over here with our flower. Now, we will move on to more of the base of the card. So I have a five by four and a quarter sheet, I'm sorry, five and a half by eight and a half sheet of the Mingenta Madness. And I will take the wrapped in texture embossing folder from the mini catalog and the winter one. And we are going to emboss about an inch in on the edge of the cardstock here. And I'll show you why in just a second. Super cool. So for this, you will just need your base plate number one and then your number three um, plexiglass plate here. Lay your cardstock with your embossing folder and then your number three second plexiglass plate and you'll run that through the big shot. And when you're done, you'll end up with something like this with the little textured edge there. Go ahead and fold that in half. And then for the DSP, the Flowers for Every, Se Every Season um, is the DSP I'm using here. And this um, scalloped edge framelit is from the Peony Dies also. This piece of cardstock is four by five and three eighths. And basically what we're going to do is on the right hand side, you're going to lay this die pretty much to the very edge of the DSP here. And then, whoops, open my camera here. And then grab you some, a post-it note. And we're gonna use that to hold this edgelet in place. And we will run this through the Big Shot, the same um, layering, the uh, base plate, one, two, and the three plexiglass plate, and then a plexiglass plate on top. And then when it comes out, you'll end up with this really pretty scalloped edge. So we'll go ahead and glue that down on our base piece here with some Tombow. Now, I also grabbed uh, from the stitched rectangle piece and went ahead and die cut one of the rectangles out in vellum. So that will be going right there. I grabbed some quarter inch Magenta Madness ribbon here from the In Color pack. Um, and I tied it around the very base of the vellum here. I'll do so right now. And then we can just trim our edges. And then we'll want to put the knot right in the center. And then trim. Okay. And then we can grab our flower and we're going to put this right in the center there using some Tombow. So you can grab your Tombow again or whatever glue you choose. I prefer you're going to layer that right in the center of the vellum piece and then grab your leaves do the same use a little bit of glue and we're going to just stick them right behind underneath the peony and grab this leaf do the same so this is what you should end up with this piece right here and then we can go ahead and glue that down onto our base card and this will be glued down right in the very middle of the card so our last thing for this card is I used the greeting because you make me smile from the mini mates stamp set here and I used Knight of Navy and a half inch strip um, piece of cardstock. So ink that up like so. And then use some paper snips and you're just going to trim the edges like so. 
and then add a mini dimensional to the back. Take the back off, kind of give it a little bit of movement here and stick that up in the very top corner. And there you have it, a really pretty, simple, easy card that looks like you put a lot of work in it. Thanks for watching.